This is the brand new C Dream 4 plugin for Photoshop, and I'm testing it out so you don't have to. If you want to try it out yourself, I dropped the link below in the description. I'll walk you through a full before and after and show you exactly what works and what doesn't. Take a look at this before and after. The detail is absolutely insane. All right, let's dive in. First, select the area you want to change and make sure the feather is set to a large number of pixels. It really depends on the size of your image. Mine is quite large right now, um, even larger than 4K. Now watch this. Let's type in futuristic shiny helmets and boom here's the first result that's sick right but we're just getting started i'm gonna brush out the parts i don't need and you know use generative fill still to quickly remove little details like this one here just the old way and sometimes you even want to erase some parts of the face just to make it look more natural here's a pro tip flip the image because flipping tricks your brain into seeing the photo fresh. And it's one of the fastest ways to spot flaws that you might have missed. Every time I do this, I notice things that I didn't catch before. Okay, now let's have some fun. I'm going to swap out the jacket's texture with a reference image. All I have to do is replace texture with reference. And now browse, select my file. And just like that, using the C Dream 4 model, here's the first result. Tell me that isn't crazy. As of today, that is insane. But wait, it gets better. I'll add another reference. This time a can that I changed into <laughs> drink water. And I prompt subject holding can of reference. And then I browse for a reference image, select it. hit submit, and instantly it looks super realistic. And honestly, I'm hyped about how well this works. So I tried it a few more times and look at that. A summer shot changed into a fall season uh, or a winter season. Um, everything just with a click of a button, it's crazy. So let's get the plugin installed. Click the link in the description and you're gonna head over to this page, sign in with uh, your Google account. Once you hit download, I already did that. First of all, close Photoshop. Now double click on the plugin and you're gonna open up the Creative Cloud automatically and hit install. Um, now, you know, this is basic stuff. You gotta trust the plugin. I'm gonna hit OK. And right over here, the green open Photoshop button. And Photoshop is gonna open. All right, so over here, this pop up, we're gonna create new tool group and keep custom toolbar. So it's always in your toolbar in Photoshop. Then we're gonna double click on Nano Banana Gemini and open Astra. Now click Remember My Choice and Allow. So now we're gonna head over to their website, automatically sign in with uh, your Google account. And then we're just gonna click on API and hit generate for a token. And you'll also get a free $2, which is cool because then you can try it for free. It's like three cents per, per generation within the plugin, um, which is a great deal because it's uh, cheaper than anything else out there because it's more the you know core route of doing it. That's why it's a little difficult to install, right? Because the way you are, you're up for that and then you get rewarded, right? By doing the hard part. It's only one time, so great job. So now click on API and just copy the API key that you generated and we'll head over to Photoshop again and drag this down and this way to the side and just paste in your API key and hit save. Now we can get started. So I'm gonna type add a boat, uh, use the C Dream 4 model and just select this area. <laughs> and I was almost about to click generate a fill, um, but no, we're gonna hit submit and boom, there it is. So what if we select this area and type in change color of bridge to red. There we go. So what I noticed right away is that you need to brush with the brush tool 
you know, on the layer itself and just erase these parts really quick. For this part, I just pre-recorded some stuff and I'm just gonna show you really quick um, what it's about. Because now I typed in add futuristic air balloons and boom, or kittens over here. <laughs> That's cute. And, you know, I selected this part to add dinosaurs insane and just brush the sides away really quick with the brush tool um, with the mask selected but you can see the quality is really good it really matches the quality of the image itself I downloaded this image from the internet yeah it's 4,000 pixels by 3,000 pixels now I typed in change subjects pose to creative fashion pose and boom it just changes it's crazy uh, it's definitely um, just high quality. Also, I can select this blouse and say change cloth to red and uh, use the Sea Dream 4 model and submit because it's really that much better as of today. Um, obviously, I would erase the buttons or, you know, to the sides you can see a little, you know, spill. Now just, let's just see what happens when you type in add a futuristic butterfly yeah that looks good i mean it looks part of the scene right <laughs> so this part is nice because i uh, typed in add a reindeer and selected you know the part again and just flipped it to erase but anyway i compared it with uh the generated fill and that's a no still a no also a note, right? It's it's really it's really cool to see that all these competitors are really challenging each other to improve because it's really that much better. Sea uh, Dream, I've never heard about it before, uh, but it's from ByteDance, the owners of TikTok, so it's pretty impressive. So let's change this can of beer, <laughs> not beer, uh, to drink water because it's sparkling water. These are all first tries. This too, it's, it's crazy. Well, that's it for today because I'm sure you've seen a lot of other examples out there. So um, these won't be new anymore um, ever since it's out for like three days already. Today's the third day. It's, it's early in the morning right now. Anyway, so that's it. I hope you had fun in this live and frequency on this channel. Make sure to hit like and follow because uh, otherwise you won't see us again and who is us well there's always uh, me and my companion behind the camera and there's always us the team at refine it working towards just amazing stuff and we're all about creating and embracing this new day and age it took a while but yeah hyped now to just go a new route and really embrace the fact that stress um, alongside these amazing softwares uh, that allowed us to create VFX and edit to you know the traditional ways is going away a lot of stress is going away it's it's being you know traded for new possibilities and more time and more fun and more creativity more embracing the vision because it's possible to make it within the time frame you know so anyway um i'm really all about creating together still with real humans real people and that's really the mindset uh, over here always has been and i'm a proud proud creator that has built everything from the ground up um ever since i was 17 years old okay so this is the first video right in a while um so i'm not gonna preach every time but you feel me right so see you in the next one